What is going on guys? My name is Bucky and welcome to your very first bootstrap tutorial. Now the first question you may have is what the heck is bootstrap? Well bootstrap is a way that you can make awesome looking websites for every single device. Now whenever you guys first started learning how to make websites my guess is that you probably designed it for the desktop and then you tried to look at it on a phone and you're like hmm everything is really tiny I gotta zoom in you know I'm trying to click a link with my thumb but it's accidentally clicking the wrong link and you know it's just a pain so then you might have been like alright I'll just design it for mobile first so you did that and then you looked at it on a desktop and you know all the buttons were huge white space was out of control and it was just a pain in the butt and you know it kinda makes sense I mean what kind of design looks good on a 27 inch iMac and also a tiny little mobile phone well the answer is bootstrap so that's pretty much the broad overview of what bootstrap is and why it's so popular now what else do we got down here alright so if you go to this site getbootstrap.com you can look at a couple demo websites that were made using bootstrap and look at this girl right here I think that she thinks that <laughs> This guy is trying to take a picture of her, but he's just like on Google Maps, not even paying attention to her. So, all right, getting kind of sidetracked here, but in order to use Bootstrap, we need to download some files and include them in our project. So, again, go to the site, getbootstrap.com, and click this big jumbo download Bootstrap button. Now, it's going to take you to this page, and as you can see we have a couple different options of how we want to include those files in our project so the first thing that we can do is click this button download them and by the way don't click it yet because I'm gonna show you guys a better way but if you want you can download the files so you have a copy on your own computer and then if you go to your downloads extract them extract all of them dun -dun -dun, and check them out so these are the files that you would include in every single project so every single time you made a project copy them include them make another one copy them include them it can be kind of redundant and kind of a pain in the butt so what I'm gonna recommend is doing it this way so whenever you decide to make a bootstrap website you can just add these links right here and whenever you include these links what it's gonna do is it's gonna pull all of those files from the CDN now a CDN is just a content delivery network and all this is is a server online that has the files stored on it so you actually don't need them on your own machine you can just say okay I'm gonna link to these files then whenever the user browses your website it downloads those files and you're good to go and by the way I don't know why they call it a CDN for some reason whenever people are making like something new with computers they find the need to give everything a new name and acronym you know what a content delivery network is it's the freaking internet it's a big network and they deliver content but okay it's my little rant so you know getting kind of uh, off track here anyways in these tutorials what I'm gonna be doing is instead of including all of these files then I'm just gonna be including these links right here and also what I did already is I made a really simple template where I did all that and I'm gonna be putting it on my github page so if you go to my github page and there's a link right below this video anytime you want to make a bootstrap website just copy the template and this can be your starting point so we're gonna be writing most of our code right here and that way you know you don't have to go find those links and you know set everything up every single time and by the way if you guys are using um, JetBrains or IntelliJ or any IDE that JetBrains made if you want a real easy way to set up a bootstrap website you can just go to file new project and then if you go to static web this Twitter bootstrap is your template that you can use or you can just use mine from github whatever you want to do follow your heart so before I get into the good stuff showing you guys all the different features that you can add I want to talk to you about these files right here so we already know what most of the stuff is just regular HTML the first interesting line is this now you really don't have to worry about this but just so you guys you know are pros and understand every single thing a viewport is essentially just the user screen and the two settings that we're changing right here is for the device width 
we're just going to use the width of the screen. So nothing, you know, mind blowing. In initial scale, this means don't zoom in or zoom out any special way. Just use regular zoom 100% and this just makes sure that it's consistent across every device. Now this line of code right here, this is just a CSS file where we get all of the, you know, default styling, coloring, all the look of all the different widgets and these files are one of them is for jQuery the standard jQuery library and the other one is actually the bootstrap JavaScript file so again that's what all of these are and this is going to be our starting point on every single bootstrap web page that we make alright so now that we got all that boring stuff out of the way let's go ahead and jump into the fun stuff and start designing our website so most every single thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys in these tutorials it needs to go inside a container now there are two different types of containers in what one you choose is dependent on do you want your website to have a fixed width or do you want it to take up the full screen so if you want it to have a fixed width then the class you use is container if you want it to take up the entire width of the device then you use container slash fluid not fluid fluid so this would be full screen but for this demo I'm just gonna use container and then I'll show you guys the difference so for right now let's just make really something really simple I'll say like um welcome to the new Boston that'll be my site and for the paragraph I'll just say uh, like I love New Boston, my name is Bucky. Alright, so let me just save this and run it and check it out. So there you go, congratulations. You now know how to make the most <laughs> simple bootstrap website that has ever been created. And now that we have a solid foundation and know how to set up our project and what everything is, we can start getting into all the features, all of the cool design elements. It's going to be awesome, so I'll see you guys in the next video.